Question 8C was as follows. On the grid provided below, 1, plot the point W, which has got coordinates which are 2,2, 2, X, which is negative 2,2, 2, Y, negative 4, negative 3, and Z, which has coordinates which are 4, negative 3. So we first focus on the first question. So we want to plot these points. So the first one is W, which has got coordinates which are 2,2. 2. So we're going to plot the point which is 2,2 2 is supposed to be here. Here, where I've put the red dot, and we name it W. Okay, then we go to X, which has got negative 2,2, 2, which is supposed to be here, and we name it X. We go to Y, which has negative 4, negative 3, which is here, and we name it Y. We go to uh, point Z, which has got the coordinates which are 4, negative 3, so it's which is supposed to be here. Okay, and we name it Z. Okay, so now we have plotted the points, so let's go to question 2. Question 2 is asking us to join the points to form a quadrilateral W, X, Y, Z. Okay, so we are going to draw this. So first draw the line, the line from Y, so from W to X. So we draw this line. Then we join that line by a line from Y to X, this one. Then we join that line by a line from uh, z to y okay then we also draw a line which goes to w back to w which is from z to w okay now we have drawn and we have formed a quadrilateral which is called um w x y z okay so that is a quadrilateral now we have answered question two now we go to question three three which is draw the graph of x negative 1 of x is equal to negative 1 okay so we are supposed to draw a graph with uh, which has x which is equal to negative 1 so i'm going to write that expression here now let me talk about this expression x is equal to 1 and we are supposed to draw the graph uh, this means that the graph we're going to draw uh, the coordinate for x will always be negative 1 Okay, the value of x in the coordinates will be negative 1. All of them, they are going to have x with the value of negative 1. Now, we know how to write, we write the coordinates. We write them like this, x, comma, y. The coordinate of x, comma, the coordinate of y. Okay, so that means uh, the coordinate for x will always be negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, no matter how many uh, coordinates you come up with always the value of x will be negative 1. For example, we can have a, a coordinate which is a negative 1, okay? And then this coordinate can also have negative 1 as for y axis, the reading of y axis, okay? Uh, when we look at this, the, the x axis, the command is that the x axis will always be negative 1, and that one, you can see it has got negative 1, the x axis, as well as the y axis is negative 1. But still, we can also have a coordinate which has got negative 1. Well, the y-axis have has positive 2. Okay? This still uh, is also filling the, 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 the law or the law there, which is draw the graph of x is equal to negative 1. Because the x-axis has the reading of negative 1, then that coordinate is also correct. We can also come up with the, uh, the coordinates which are negative 1, comma 1. They also are uh, obliged to that uh, instruction, which is uh, draw the graph of uh, x is equal to negative 1, as long as the x-axis or the x-coordinate is negative 1. Whatever number is on the y-axis doesn't matter, as long as uh, the x-axis reads negative 1. Now, I'm going to use this to plot a graph, and this is the graph you can come up with. Even if you used different codes, you had negative 1, comma, positive 5, negative 1, comma, 8, negative 1, comma, 
100 the the 100 i mean negative 1 comma 100 the co the graph we are going to come up will be the same so i'm going to plot this so i'll start with the um negative 1 comma negative 1 i'm talking about these ones in circle they, they are these are codes i'm going to use so negative 1 comma negative 1 so i'm going to plot the point which is here negative 1 comma negative 1 this time i'm using the uh, yellow color or the yellow ink because i want to make it different from this uh graph we this um, quadrato we drew at first okay then i come on the second one which is negative 1 comma 2 so negative 1 comma 2 is somewhere there on the line the red line so i have put the dot there on the red line which is negative 1 comma 2 then i have negative 1 comma 1 which is here okay negative 1 comma 1 then once i've done this the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a line so that is a line so that is the graph uh, which i have got x which is equal to negative 1 so no matter uh, what number you use on the y uh, on the as a code of y the, the the graph you come up will be the same okay so basically this is the graph we are supposed to come up with in an exam if you have got questions you can ask in the comment section otherwise this is how you plot uh, the codes and that's how you come up with the quadrilateral and that is how you you you, you draw a graph with the x which is equal to negative one if you have got questions like i said data on you can ask in the comment section otherwise thank you so much for watching this video i hope and pray that you found this video help it has helped you to revise so please you make sure that you share with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel we urge you to subscribe to our youtube channel because this is not the last beautiful video i have uh, produced we are continuing producing uh, we have different lessons which we have covered so please take time to check around our channel we have covered many topics so check on our playlist you'll find names of topics as playlist please go inside and check the video please you can also go into a uh, playlist that uh, have examination year and the kind of the paper like uh, it's 2021 this is 2021 paper uh two uh yeah paper two internal so you if you find that place like this one that means the the only paper questions we have solved are those from 2021 paper two questions and then you can learn from them otherwise thank you so much for watching we feel blessed by your support please stay tuned to our channel we are with you all the way until you complete your education otherwise thank you so much and god bless you it has been easy learning z mathematics the future is bright see you in the next video and god bless you